Hello everyone, this is Grandpa D here. How you guys doing? Yeah, I'm doing pretty good here. Uh, Waikiki, we reopened a few more of the restaurants. You know, I'm dying in from some of the restaurants. Uh, I think tomorrow is going to open next week. However, the bad news, we had two cases of COVID here in Waikiki over at one of the uh, senior assistant living areas. Two of the nurses came down with it. So don't know how long all this freedom is going to last because we also had to protest a thousand people doing Black Lives Matter stuff in Waikiki. And I really fear for those kids because if there's COVID running around, they get infected and that would be really bad. Anyway, I'm going to try out a brand new razor that I've never used before. I got off of uh, uh, Amazon. It's a $7 razor. It's the Expressus Professional. Okay, that's the box here. Opening it up, okay. it kind of comes in a nice little case here. It's a German made uh, steel pink uh, razor. It actually got some heft. It does feel like a German razor, actually. Okay, I'm going to take the lid off. I'm actually kind of surprised. Let's see if I can show it to you more. Three piece, piece of metal here. Looks like a nice, nice little razor here. I'm actually surprised. I thought it, when I first saw it on uh, Amazon, I thought it was made out of plastic, like black plastic, but it's actually metal. Uh, it's a little bit strange with the head, as you can see here. It's a little bit of a gap here that my other razors don't have. So I'm going to be using this, trying this out. Again. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and try out a new uh, blade too, a treat blade. I'm going to put that in it and see what it, uh, how it does. And then I'm going to also use my three shave lotion. I like this one here. Three shave. Right now. <coughs> For my shaving cream, cream one. I'm using the coconut mango. I guess Hawaii theme right now, coconut mango. Actually, it's mango season. There's some nice mangoes out here. No, I can't eat them because my wife's allergic to mangoes. Grandma Nami swells up like a balloon if she gets near a mango tree. When she was young, she used to actually eat a lot of mangoes. She used to collect them, tree mangoes, eat a lot. And suddenly, one year, she became allergic. Couldn't eat mangoes anymore. So I can't eat mangoes. If I eat one, kiss her, she swells up. So yeah, <laughs> a little sidetrack on Grandma and Amy and her mango. All right, what else was it to do? Oh yeah, my aftershave, I'll use the Italian one there too. Okay. Let me go ahead and put the razor in. So how's everything in mainland guys, or wherever you live in the world? Hopefully you're doing pretty good. Yeah. I'm still kind of stay at home. My job hasn't called me back in yet. Hopefully soon, but I, I sell shoes like Al Bundy. I'm actually a system manager at a bio store here in the international marketplace. Don't know if I still have the job or not because the company may not be there if it can't survive the uh, lockdown. But that's okay. I've had a lot of time to actually be with a wife. And to be honest, I haven't had a lot of time to be with a wife. You know, I work my life. I'm kind of happy to have a few months off. So, let's see. Alright. This time I did remember to put the actual blade in. I can see a lot of the edge here. I'm I think it's going to be a fairly mild cut because there's a lot of uh, space here. We'll see. Alright. Go with the cream oil. I'm just going to put a dollop up in. I'm going to use my Harry Potter Crucible. It's actually made out of granite. You got the little spell thing on the back and all that. Okay. You guys need a love potion or something like that. Yeah, I mean, you know, <laughs> it's kind of joking with that. Okay. Okay. For my brush, for my brush, I'm going to stick with this one here. It's my synthetic. I have some badger brushes left that I use, but I'm still doing a cold water shave. Put some water in the face and there a little whip. Yeah. yeah, so my first video went okay, I guess. My wife watched it. She's the most uh, severe critic I have, you know. Speak up, speak slower. You should tell more about the product and show it more. <laughs> That's good to get some like this. Makes me a better person. Okay. 
Yeah, sorry for the water running there. I'll turn it off here in a second. So, I'm noticing here that my leather has a little bit too much water in it. Kind of a bubbly feel. Can you see that? When you get little bubbles like that, it means that it's a little bit too much water. You should add a little bit more salt. Okay? And that's what I'm going to do. Turn off the water too. Uh, just a tad bit more. Because you want it to look kind of like whipped cream. Okay? Uh, you don't want it to be flaky, but you also don't want it to be uh, too bubbly either. Alright. Yeah, it's looking better. Again, I haven't really used this shaving cream, uh, so I'm still learning the water ratio in the light. It has a really strong smell to it, too. I like the smell. This is the kind of smell my wife likes. I'm not really into smelling like a fruit, <laughs> but she likes that kind of smell. And she can't smell a lot of strong or a lot of smell, so it has to be pretty strong for her. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to get it to go under there. Yeah, and it should kind of look like whipped cream. And then you know you've got about the right consistency for it. Um, sometimes it's really hard depending on the types of soap and the type of water you have. Okay. So, I'm going to use my pre shave first. Okay. I actually like the sandalwood smell myself. Mm. Nice little kind of wooden smell that I enjoy. Okay. I'm going to apply this. See how do I do how well I do with this. You know, for my first video I was so nervous talking. And it's still pretty nervous. Okay, I think it's just a little bit lathering. It's, for my taste it's just a little bit too bubbly. But it'll work. Let's try out this seven dollar, seven dollar uh, razor. Huh? And again, sometimes a very inexpensive razor can shave really, really well. Even better, some of the expensive two hundred dollar ones. You know, depends on your face, depends on how it feels. Use the razor that you like. Don't be afraid to try out different blades, different razors, and the like. Because you kind of mix and match. That's the fun of shaving. It can a little skin, uh, skin stretch in here. It's a little bit more aggressive than the bevel I used yesterday, but not much. I'm a little bit surprised. I can hear it. I can hear the uh, noise there. Okay. Again, you can tell the shave cream is not holding the ladder as good as it should. That's probably because I haven't got uh, water to self ratio down really well. And again, don't be afraid if it's not really working for you too well to redo your leather. That's only so. But this is still working for me, so not too bad. I'm not bleeding or anything yet. <laughs> but I will say one thing that I learned is it's a little bit changes your pattern a little bit when you're talking and shaving at the same time. It's kind of like, oh my god, you know, <laughs> am I going to cut myself? You know, I'm going to cut around my goatee here. I will share this one too. The razor went in really well. I didn't have to adjust it. You know, the blade wasn't like crooked or anything and there wasn't any wobble when I put it together. Actually, I finally crafted a uh, razor. Okay. Yeah, it's very mild. <laughs> Even by my standard, it's kind of very mild. 
Could be the blade, it could be the razor. That safety guard looks a little big there. Okay, I'm gonna put in the next, next one here. is kind of, I'm uh, not liking the letter. I like to spell the letter, but it's not as smooth as I like it. You got a little bit dropping off there, here and there. But again, I don't think I have the water issue down, so it's probably not the cream, it's probably crap on D. Happens sometimes, you know, bad, make a bad batch of leather. Now, you go across the green. I'm going to fill up here. I'm thinking about doing a video about Depression era shaving. My great grandfather lived through the Great Depression and World War I too. And he used to actually make his own soap, or actually, in a pinch, how to use regular soap without how to, how, how to make a really good lather. He'd actually use the soap, and then just a touch of like castor oil. You know, back in that day, that castor oil was like big jars, about like this big. But you castor oil, put a drop of that in with the soap, lather it up really good if you don't have shaving cream. Because back in the day, then you maybe couldn't afford it. I don't think I could actually make uh, make my soap here in that apartment, but you know, I would love to give it a try one time. He's the one I taught you. Again, number one, I'm gonna make myself a little bit here. Number one thing about uh, World War One: have dry feet, clean shocks. No matter what war you're in, dry feet, dry feet, clean shocks. Pretty smooth up here. Missed a couple spots here. I'm gonna make this up a little bit more so I can get it a little that lather just a little bit better. I am liking the razor, it's nice and mild, not bothering me at all. The lather itself, again, it's not quite as not quite where I wanted it at. Usually I'm pretty good at making my lather, but this time I screwed up a little bit. Oh well. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> and there are a few kinds like silks and stuff that I've tried out that I cannot get a good ladder no matter what I do. Alright. So I added another little bit of a drop here to get the third shave a little, a little bit better. I don't feel any redness in the thing and there's no redness on my, th my throat. That's where I usually can tell you almost immediately when I have like really bad razor burn. I'll feel it even before I'm done shaving. I do like the smell of this stuff. It's got a coconut mango smell. Hopefully my wife is an allergic and she rubs up against me tonight. She won't get all swollen. If she does, I'll be bad, you know, be pissed. And I just talked about the mango allergy too. I didn't think about the mango in the soap. Oh well. I'll make sure to wash my face really good. So I had my first subscriber come on, Ken Surfs. <laughs> I'll have to remember that. He's one of the guys, the first uh, shaving video I watched. And I was like, hey, he has similar hair to me, and I'm like, oh, maybe I'll try to dry out this stuff too, because it looks like it's kind of fun. Which I have to say, it is kind of fun. We were talking to the camera, and I have to get used to, like, the mirror and the camera. I want to look in the camera and shave, and I also... That's much smoother. I'm not going to shave up here, it's nice and smooth, no need to grab it with a razor. I'm going to go ahead and wash off real quick. Yes. 
It didn't hold the leather as well as I like, but the razor actually did give a pretty good shave. And again, I get soap everywhere. Behind my ears, my hair, get some like goatee, run to my chest. Why well, I don't use a shirt. <laughs> And I'm back. Right off a little bit here. Alright. So, my moon block. This is kind of like the big test for you. And I see what it's going to hurt us. Oh, don't feel anything on my cheek. Right here, nothing. Does that hurt? Ow. Just look at myself down there a little bit. Oh, here, nothing. Actually, I'm surprised. Usually, I feel a little burn right around here. So I usually have a lot of razor burning. To be honest, pretty good shape. That one little nick there. Put this stuff here on. I like to smell this. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> yeah, some good smell. It's always reminded me of my grandfather and like when he's around. He had the same similar stuff with Italian brands, so it's very, very barber sharpy smell. Barber shop smell. Sorry. Tongue tied. <laughs> okay, yeah. So overall, I actually enjoyed the way this shaved. It's really, really mellow for me with the, the tree blade. And this one. Maybe I'd want to try it with a feather blade later. That might be even a little bit closer shave. But this is a really good shave. Very little did I miss. Nice and smooth. Yeah. The lather, again. This is my cream I used to put that down, and it's okay. I think I messed up on the water uh, soap brazier a little bit. I also maybe, maybe it's just one of those kinds that's better to put on your face and, and do it, but I always use, like using my little, little bore, bowl. Got used to it from way, way back in the day, and I just don't like doing it otherwise. And, yeah, and the razor blade itself cut well. I think now I had one little nick down here, and that was it. Alright, so until next time, you guys stay safe, try to stay out of trouble, try not to get infected with anything, and have a great day. Aloha from Hawaii.